And Noah, not Noah found grace in the sense of he found something from God that no one else had. It's a, it's a revelation. But as in the sense that he saw that God's eyes were filled with grace. Yeah. See, Noah saw who God was. Right. And that caused Noah to trust in God's righteousness towards him. <laughs> that's what happened. And that's why Noah then became a preacher of righteousness. Whose righteousness was he preaching to the people? Not his own. He wasn't preaching about doing good deeds. He wasn't talking about, you need to go love. You need to go not steal. You need to go not commit adultery. You need to go and not drink. You need... He wasn't doing that. When it says he was a preacher of righteousness, it means that as Noah, for 120 years, was building that ark, he was preaching about the righteousness of God to save them from the flood that was coming to destroy sin and death. He was a preacher of God's righteousness to save all of them from the flood that was coming. That's why I'm building this ark. Behold, the righteousness of God to save us from the flood that's coming to destroy sin and death. Mm. Behold. Mm. Jesus talked about, I will stand in the midst of the congregation, O God, and I will declare your righteousness. Right. Yes. Well, listen, he did some of that in his earthly ministry, but do you know what he's talking about more there? I'm going to come. I'm going to take the sin and death of the world upon myself. I'm going to die. I'm going to lay in a grave, and you're going to come and raise me up. That's going to declare your righteousness to human beings to come and take them out of their sin and their death in the midst of the congregation. So that's how Jesus was a preacher of the righteousness of God. He wasn't preaching, telling people what they needed to go do to bring forth fruit so they could be justified. He was preaching about God's righteousness to save human beings from sin and death. Yes. He was preaching about the only way God could ever manifest himself towards a sinner is by being the good Samaritan to them. Mm -hmm. It's the only way. <laughs> that's what he was preaching. That's what it means to be a preacher of righteousness, man. Yeah. He saw all this in the old. Mm -hmm. And so, man, Jesus has always only ever been the word of God. The word from Mount Sinai is still Jesus. Mm -hmm. What else was, look at, didn't Jesus come to purge our heart from trusting in the works of our own hands? Yes. In order that our trust might be in God? and we don't miss the mark of eternal life. Right. Isn't that what Jesus came and taught us? Yes. Well, isn't that what Moses said? The law said in Exodus 20, 20. Yes. Didn't Moses interpret the law from Mount Sinai? Fear not, for God hath come to prove you. He's come to purge this system out of your heart because it's killing you, man. And he loves you and he doesn't want you to die so that your trust might be in him and not your own works, and you don't miss the mark he has for your life. A good way of saying of missing the mark is God's got a dream for your life, and you don't want to miss out on it, yeah, right? right? <laughs> and so God didn't want them to miss out on his dream for their life, right? Yeah. And so he come and gave them this law to purge the system out of their heart that was killing them in order that they would trust in him and they wouldn't miss out on what God always dreamt for their life. Yes. Moses said that in Exodus 20, 20. Yeah. Isn't that what was manifested in Jesus? Yeah, totally. The, 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 the law that Moses went and got from Mount Sinai, it was written on um, sapphire stone. Mm -hmm. Sapphire stone is what the throne of God is made out of. The throne of God is, is called the throne of grace. Yes. And so even the law that was written on stones contained the shadow there that was declaring grace 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 because it was written on sapphire stones stones of grace moses was standing on sapphire stone when he went up the mountain and it's god said moses take off your shoes you're standing on holy ground you're standing on ground that's been sanctified in grace and you're wearing shoes that were made by the works of man's hands right. take off those shoes because works can't mix with grace yeah. All these That's things. That's where I got those uh, 